In this video I'm going to show you how to use the config tool software to change the IP address on an IP camera. You could also use the config tool software to change the IP address on your DVR or NVR. This video will be very useful if you're on a different network or you also just need to change your IP camera to a different IP address on your local network if you have several IP cameras with the same address. All IP cameras that are tested and shipped from CCTV Camera World will have an IP address of 192.168.1.109. When connecting multiple cameras to the same network, this will create a conflict. However, if you have a PoE, plug and play NVR, when you connect your IP cameras to the back of your NVR, the NVR will automatically handle all the IP addressing for each channel. This particular guide covers how to use cameras and NVRs or DVRs on a local network. So first, we're going to open up the config tool. We're going to click yes to allow changes. Here in our config tool, we can see that we have two IP cameras, one of them being on that default 192.168.1.109 IP address. Now let's say I had multiple cameras and I needed to first change this IP camera from this default address. You'll of course want to connect one camera at a time that way you don't confuse the software or create any IP address conflicts on your local network. In order to change the password, I could come here and click the pencil icon and try to change it. And I'm just going to use 50 as a good example and say that my system started with 1.50. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and use the gateway. I'm going to click OK. However, I received a triangle status as my result. I'm going to click on that status, and here the status is going to tell me that there was an error when I tried to modify the IP, and the error was a password error. Now if you receive this error, the solution is very easy. We're going to click up in the search setting. Here it shows the settings that I'm using to search for using the config tool software. Since it told me I have the wrong password, I of course have to set the correct password if I want to change the IP address. This is the default factory password. If you need this password, please feel free to reach out to our support team with your order number. But I'm going to go ahead and type that password in. And then click the OK button. It's going to research my network using that password. And now use that password to log into any cameras that I need to make changes on. Again, I'm going to use this 192.168.1.109 camera since it's on the default IP address. We're going to come back over here to click the pencil icon, which is also called IP modification. It saved my information from the first time that I changed, changed the IP address. If your information is not in here, then you will of course want to type that out. You will want to type that out. I've used the 192.168.1.50 address. I've used the default subnet mask. It will usually populate this on its own. If it doesn't, then it's 255.255.255.0. If you're an IT professional, you'll know what your subnet mask should be. The gateway will also want to be the IP address for your router. In this instance, it is 192.168.1.1. Since I've successfully set the password on the search setting, I know that I should receive a green checkmark status when I click the OK button. As you can see, I received a checkmark result. I can click that, and now it says modify IP success. I can escape out of here. And then to confirm that my IP address changed on that particular camera, I'm going to want to go ahead and do a refresh. I can either hit the F5 key on my keyboard or click the refresh button here. It's going to research my network once more. And here I can see that the IP address successfully changed to 192.168.1.50. You will want to repeat this process for each camera that you need to set to a unique IP address. Again, it must be a unique IP address and it must fit the network scheme. If I were to do another camera, I would set it to 192.168.1.51. You'll of course want to make sure you search your network first to determine if an IP address is available for that particular block of IP addresses that you want to use. Hopefully this video helps you change and modify the IP address on a device, on your local network, using the config tool. You can also do this on a recorder, again, an NVR or a DVR. Thank you for watching.